Oi there, me hearty. What? Don't worry. We'll have you up and sucking back a grog and... No, I don't. My beautiful pirate don't. I'll get you for this, you craven build rat. Sorry, I don't know what got into me. Oh, this can't be good. You know, you really should have that look, that kid. Huh? The name's Nippercat. Davy Nippercat. Senior reporter, Keel Hollow Gazette. Welcome to Flotsam Isle. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Actually, I... Great. What's your name, where'd you come from, and how'd you get here? I'm Guybrush Threepwood, Mighty Pirate, and... Pirate, eh? Well, I believe it when I see it, kid. Still, it'd be nice to have a real genuine pirate buckling his swash around Flotsam Island again. Um... Why, I haven't had an honest-to-goodness pirate story to write about in over six months. You're right. Yes, sir, Bob. Nothing like the promise of a good pirate story to get the old journalistic juices flowing again, says hey. I. Say, just listen to me prattling on while you stand there all wet and confused and whatnot. So, what's your story, Creepwood? This island looks, uh, lovely, but where can I find a ship? I really need to get back to the Rock of Gelato and find my wife. Well, there's only one ship here on Flotsam Island, but it won't do you any good. Why not? It's the winds, Three Juan, the winds. Here on Flotsam Island, the winds are always blowing inward 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. It's a freak of nature, a fluke, a curse. Whatever you want to call it, the result is the same. Once you've landed on Flotsam Island, you're trapped! Are you seriously telling me there's no way off this island? Well, not by ship, anyway. The only person who I think might know a way off the island is Deep Gut. Deep Gut? What's a Deep Gut? Deep Gut's my secret source for off-island news stories, and it's a good thing, too. Without the Gut's uncanny inter-island scoops, the Keel Holler Gazette would never be able to compete with those snowy prima donnas over at the Flats and Times. Off-island news? Hey, then he might know something about Elaine. Where can I find this Deep Gut? Hold on a second, pirate boy. Davy J. Nippikin doesn't go handing over his secret sources to every Tom, Dick, and Guy brush that washes ashore. But I can pay you, with treasure, from my ship. Which is probably at the bottom of the ocean by now. Look, kid, you seem like a nice enough pirate. So I'll make you a deal. A deal? Yeah. Our filing news is nice and all. But the fair citizens of Flotsam are getting tired of stories about faraway lands they'll never see again. Not to mention that I hate being beholden to this deep gut person. So? So I need some nice, meaty, local pirate news. I love making pirate news. That's the spirit, kid. You can translate that moxie into news-making pirate mayhem, and I'll hand you deep gut on a silver platter. Yeah, this'll be a snap. A snap. A snap. Ow! Attention, Club 41, Flotsam Island's most prestigious pirate organization, is no longer accepting new applications for membership. Thank you for your continued interest, and please go away. Wind still sucks. Flotsam Island endures 1,138th straight day of unwelcome winds. Hey. Hey, Davey. Call me Nippikin, kid. Everyone else does. I'd rather not. Keep up the pirating, kid. I'm rooting for you.
pirates plundering your palace? Buccaneers bashing your balustrades? Swashbucklers slicing your stomachs? Then you need Morgan Le Flay, Pirate Hunter par excellence. Great, a pirate hunter. I need that like I need a fourth nipple. of mermaids, or are they mermen? They don't really have the education, jacket, or fedora to properly interpret ambiguous ancient carvings. Well, blow me down, glassworks. I'm not sure whether this is late Rococo or early Creepy. Holy screaming starfish! I think I've just found my ride off this stinking island. Not so fast, my well-coiffed friend. Who? Reginald Van Winslow, captain of the Screaming Narwhal. And you are? Skybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. Oh, really? What can I do for you, Mr. Mighty Pirate? How'd you end up on Flotsam? Same as everyone else here, lad. The winds! I was chasing some brigand that had stolen my hard-earned booty when all of the sudden Flotsam's capricious winds picked up my ship shredded it to bits and plunked me down here on her bounteous shores. Nice ship. Were you drunk when you built it? <laughs> Good one, boyo. But I didn't build the screaming narwhal. It was assembled by a committee of concerned flotsam citizens. Were they drunk? No, but they had to use whatever floated ashore. Hence, the aforementioned constructed by Sot's look. Well, if you didn't build the narwhal, why are you the captain? By tradition, whoever knocks the captain of the screaming narwhal off the deck gets to be the captain until he's knocked off by the next guy. So all I have to do is knock him off, huh? I look forward to it. The weather, the weather never ever does a thing for me. The screaming narwhal may not be particularly pretty or seaworthy, but at least she's a ship. Boarded, then, Winslow. <laughs> Bacon grease, boyo. Slickest stuff in the seven seas. Oh, crud. This jacket was an anniversary present. And now it's all covered with bacon grease. Man, is Elaine going to be P.O.'d? Doctor is busy. Mmm, flowers. What a crummy sconce. Now, I'd better pick this up before someone notices, um, trips over it. Wow. 
Never thought I'd see a pirate selling glass unicorns for a living. Aye, and I never thought I'd see a talking baboon. So I guess we're even. Ahoy there, scruffy artisan. I'm Guybrush Streetwood, mighty pirate. Ahoy yourself. I be Gaffer Clint Digit, pirate glassblower. Can you tell me about Flotsam Island? Well, you probably already know about Flotsam Infernal Winds. But has anyone told you about the reefs? The reefs? Aye, the crystal reefs of Flotsam Island. Sharper than a dragon's tooth, they be. They encircle the island, shredding in a ship foolish enough to get caught in Flotsam's winds. Yikes. How'd a crusty pirate like yourself wind up making little glass unicorns? Listen, matey. Glass blowing's every bit as dangerous as sailing the Spanish main. One false move with your glass jack near the glory hole, and kiss your eyeballs goodbye. I can? I'm not sure that's biologically possible. So, unicorns, huh? Aye, graceful, delicate creatures they are. Though, to be honest, they aren't selling so well to the pirate community at large. For my next project, maybe I'll be making something that really speaks to them. So many I can ever sell these blasted horny buggers. Thanks for chatting, but I got a wife and arch nemesis to return to. Aye, who doesn't? <laughs> Alphabet sale. Free vowels while supplies last. Hear ye, hear ye. Owing to the unprecedented downturn in criminal activity on Flotsam Island, I've locked up the courthouse and taken a long-delayed three-month sabbatical. Please don't break any laws until I return, or else. Sincerely, Judge Grindstone. From the jails, the flag, and the general air of perverted justice, I can only guess that this must be the Flotsam Island courthouse. Hmm, I guess court isn't in session today. Which is probably a good thing, considering all the laws I'll be breaking. Patchy. Hey. It's an empty, smelly jail cell. Kind of like the ones back on Melee Island. Good times. Davy. What do you got for me, sleep good? So, what sorts of swashbuckling do you go in for around these parts? Oh, we used to love all sorts of piracy here on Flatsom. Barely a day would go by without a good bar fight. Ship season, a very treasure cropping up. Now it seems like all anyone wants to do is hang around and wait for the winds to change. Well, leave it to me and your sleepy little hamlet will be bubbling over with buccaneering boisterousness before you know it. You just tell me how to contact Deep Gut. I'll be your best friend. Sorry, kid. No can do. I need pirate stories, and you need my source. Any questions? What's this Deep Gut person like, anyway? Trying to sneak some information out of me, eh? I can respect that, kid. Reminds me of me when I was your age. Oh, what was that? About 20 minutes ago? Keep up the pirating, kid. I'm rooting for you. 